Today, I want to show you a DocuSign alternative called SignHouse. Now, this is a tool that you can use to send out legal documents to have them signed by your clients and customers. Now, this tool is one of the few that have 100% compliant and legal e-signatures. So you definitely don't want to miss this out. So let's get started with this SignHouse review and demo. So this is the sign house backend. Okay. So as you can see, it's very simple, very straightforward. So you have two options to start. The first option is for you to drag and drop any document right here for signing. Okay. So you can click to upload a document from your device or drag and drop it right here. Now, the second option is to choose between these two right here. So if you click on just me, you can upload a document where you can sign, sign it, or you can click on send for signatures where you can upload a document to have others sign that document. And you can also include yourself to sign it as well. Okay. Now for this review and demo, I'm going to drag and drop my document right here for signing. So I have a legal agreement form from my computer and I'm just going to drop it right over here and it will upload to SignHouse. Okay, so we are in the second step. So you can see my legal document right here, which is a non-disclosure agreement. And on the left-hand side, you have additional options. Now for this first part, adding fields for, so if you click on this dropdown, you can see myself and you can also add and edit signees right here by clicking on this button. So let's just say I have a client. You can add your client's email right here and add their name. You can add additional signees as well. Now you can click on save and continue. So now if you click on this drop down, you can see yourself and also your client. Now the next thing you do is drag and drop these signature fields and also these standard fields to be filled out and signed. Okay, so for myself, we are going to drag this uh, text field right here, which is my printed name, and also a text field for my address. And for the second row is my client. So I'm going to click on the drop down, click on my client, and put the text field for my client and also the address for my client right here. And SignHouse conveniently adds color to these fields so you know what parts you need to fill out and what parts your clients need to fill out. Now let's scroll all the way to the bottom and we have additional fields that need to be filled out. Okay, so I'm gonna click on myself. Now I'm gonna, going to drag and drop my signature right here and also the date field and for my client, I'm going to drag and drop their signature and also drag and drop the date. Okay, so the next part is for me to fill out my part of the document. So I'm going to um, enter my name and also enter my address. And I'm going to scroll down and click on my signature. And I'm going to edit my signature. You can have a couple of options. You can select from any saved signatures that you used in the past. You can draw your signature. You can even type your signature or upload your signature as well. So I'm just going to type my signature. You can choose from various fonts. I kind of like this one. You can also change the color of your signature as well. I'm going to keep it as blank and click on save this signature. Okay, so my signature is right there. And lastly, I need to enter the date of my signature. So I'm going to put the date right here. Now, once I signed all of my fields, now I'm going to click on review and finish. This pop up appears. It shows you who is involved. So this is myself and also my client, which is that second person. And this is the from name and email address. So this is myself. You can also edit default message to your signees as well. So you can um, update this message to your signees. And once this looks all good, you can click on send this document. Okay, so it says confirmed your document has been sent to the signees. Keep track of the progress in your dashboard in the documents section. Okay, so you can click on go to documents. And these are all of my documents that were sent for signing. So this is my latest one right here. 
you can see the progress. So one out of two signatures, you can see when it was updated. You can also email a reminder by clicking on this button. Now let me show you how that email looks like. Okay, so this is how the email looks like for my signee. It says Ken has requested your signature. So your signee, your client would just click on review and sign. Then you just click on start and I'm going to enter my text right here as the signee and enter the address and you can scroll or click on next and it'll jump to the field and you can add your signature right here. You can draw. So let me just uh, draw my signature. You can change the angle. You can also change uh, the width and click on save signature. And lastly, I need to enter my date. So I'm going to click on that. And once everything is good, you can click on finish and submit. And it says one last step. This is just a quick recap. You're submitting your signature to document.pdf. By clicking agree and submit, you agree to the sign house's electronic signature terms and terms and conditions. Just click on agree and submit. Okay, and we are all set. So you can see here, this latest document, the progress says signed. So everyone has signed it. You can also download the signed PDF. If you click on these three dots, you can view the legality, security, and privacy information as well. Okay, so you can view the audit trail, you can view all the people involved, what their specific activity was, and when that activity took place. You can also view the legality information right here and also security and privacy information as well. You can also download the audit trail certificate for this document if you wish. Now I want to show you the additional emails that get sent out once the document is fully signed. So once your client is finished signing, you'll get an email saying that your client has signed your document. Okay, so it says update view signed document. You can see the document name and the signees. You'll also get this email. Your document has been signed by everyone. So success, everyone has signed your documents and you can view the document right here. And as the signee, you'll get an email as well. It says you have successfully signed your document and you can view your signed document right here. Now I want to show you some feature updates that have taken place with this tool. Now before I show you that, I want to invite you to uh, like this video if you have so far gotten some value out of it. Also subscribe uh, to my channel if you want to check out other videos, other software reviews like this. By doing so, you'll be one of the first to get notified whenever I publish a new video. And also doing that will push out this video to others. Okay, so for their feature updates, here is what has been pushed out. So they did update their audit trail. So you can download certificates. They also show why your e-signatures are legal on a per document basis. They also have security and privacy protocols that they respect, which I uh, showed you uh, when you click on these three dots. And these are all the information that you can view right here. And also, they do have a few things coming up as well. So they have multi-language coming up, and they also have even more internationalization coming up. And lastly, they do have an update for templates. So if you send the same document over and over again, you can prepare it one time and save that document as a template so you can reuse it. So you'll save hours of your time to get your documents signed as quick as possible instead of you spending time creating the document from scratch. Okay, so that's a very, very helpful update that's coming up now in terms of the pricing. So the pricing is laid out right here. You have uh, five options. So it starts from $79 for the hobby plan for one user, unlimited documents, unlimited signees. And again, it's 100% legal e-signatures and you also get 10 gigabytes included. Now, if you jump to the next plan, it's uh, $199 for five users. Your storage gets increased and you'll also get access to integrations and limited web hooks. Now keep in mind, these prices are for the lifetime 
deal. Pay $2.99 for their startup plan, $4.99 for business, and up to $9.99 for pro. Now for the monthly plans, these are uh, the $99 per month for every five users. So if you want monthly, you can do this, but I think it makes much more sense to get the lifetime deal. As per the recording of this video, you actually can get 15% off by using the discount code in the video description below. So make sure if you want to claim this deal, use the coupon code in the description to get 15% off your lifetime deal. So hopefully you enjoyed this review and demo of Signhouse. Again, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.